Hello, I'm Dennis Cavus with Green Ford. I'm here to show you this 2019 Ford F-150. Let me show you up underneath the hood of this powerful truck here. As I pop this hood open, you're gonna notice the V6 motor. It's an EcoBoost motor, a 3.5 liter. This motor produces 375 horsepower and 470 pounds of torque. What that means for you that this, this motor here is more powerful than most of the V8s out on the market. This motor here will outperform the Dodge motor and the Chevrolet motor in a V8 sector. So this is a very, very, very powerful V6 motor. It actually has, this uh, setup here has a 10-speed transmission to it, and also along with that too, a 355 rear axle for you. What that equates out to you is that you can pull 10,700 pounds with this truck right here. Along with that too, Ford builds in a lot of safety in their vehicles. You'll notice that there's crumple zones up underneath the hood, and also too in the fender wells for you. What that allows for to happen is, is if you're ever in a head-end collision, it allows the front end of the vehicle to fold up like an accordion, so the truck takes the impact of the, of the collision instead of your body inside the cabin. Also, too, the motor is designed to go underneath the vehicle, so uh, that way the motor doesn't come back up into your lap and cause any damage to you or your family. Along with that, too, Ford stands behind their product a lot. Uh, on this vehicle here, like the motor here, has a warranty on it for five years, 60,000 miles, covering the motor, transmission, and drive axles. Uh, along with that, too, it has a three-year, 36,000-mile uh, warranty covering the whole complete vehicle, except for the wear and tear items. Wear and tear items would be like your battery, wiper blades, hoses, uh, brake pads, things like that. But the rest of this, you can be assured you are covered. But then also, along with that, too, green, Family Stores comes behind them and backs up the motor, transmission, and drive axles for a lifetime. As long as you own this vehicle, as long as you do the scheduled maintenance on it, we are here for you. As we come around, you're going to notice the front part of this truck. Very stylish, really bold, stands out. Two-par chrome grille on the front with the big Ford emblem right in the middle. It does have the reverse C headlamps for you that are halogen headlamps. That's going to give you great vision at nighttime. Down below, you're going to notice on this package here, which is a 301A package, it gives you the front fog lamps on it additionally. Also, too, you'll look down below, it has big tow hooks, just in case you get stuck and you're out in uh, the wilderness, 4x4 four four, and someone needs to pull you out, you can, or if you get stuck in snow, you can pull someone else out. They're great to use. As we walk around this way here, you're going to notice that the breakaway mirrors on this truck fold in and fold out. They also go backwards for you. Very rough and rugged. Uh, they have turn signals on the exterior. Uh, the reason that the Ford makes them like this is because there's situations where you're going through the wilderness, you hit a tree and it bounces off. Don't worry about it. You're not going to break your mirror. It's going to pop in for you. There's also tow mirrors in here for you so you can see the trailer behind you. Also, two of these mirrors are heated mirrors. As we come along the side right here, Ford has put beams inside these doors. They're called side intrusion beams prevent anything from coming inside the cab. In case you're in an accident, uh, like a side impact collision or anything like that. You'll notice up front here that the uh, 4.2 inch screen's right up front here for you. Also too, this truck has a configuration of a, a bench seat and also too, it has a capability of having the center console fold down for you. So what I really like about it is all the storage inside. It has storage in the center console for you. And also too, when you flip the seat up, it has storage underneath the seat also for you. Ford has really uh, brought the safety uh, of this vehicle through the roof. It has canopy airbags up on top that are could prevent your head from having any damage in a, uh, from the glass and things like that if you get in an accident. It also has side airbags in the seat that come out and it's going to cover your hip area and also to your shoulder area for you. Uh, along with that too, it has a front airbag to it just like most of the standard trucks out there in the market today. As we come back here, you're gonna notice that because of the EcoBoost motor that's in this vehicle, you get uh, um, actually 17 in the city, 23 on the highway for an average of 19 miles per gallon. Like I said, this 3.55 rear axle on this not only gives you pulling power, but it also gives you fuel economy along with it. You look in the back back here, it has a huge, uh, huge um, rear cargo area and seating area. I'm a six foot one gentleman. I can climb back and I still have five to six 
inches of room here in the back for it. Um, someone six five, six six, six seven can sit back there pretty comfortably. Seats, real easy. Just fold them up with one hand if you want to. But also too, it gives you plenty of storage room. So it's flat folding. So if you put something back there, the, the floor is completely flat. You don't have to worry about falling off one side or the other on a hump or anything like that. And it has plenty of storage for you. You can put back there dog crates, large televisions, uh, pretty much whatever you want, you can put back there. Has a lot of safety involved in the back back here, especially for children. Has the rear child safety seat anchors here for you. And also too, it has the child safety door locks in the back here for you. Child safety door locks are really nice. My kids call them the police vehicle. They can't open it from the inside, but you can open it from the outside. Up front, I'll show you here in a little bit. There is locks that prevent the rear windows from going up and down, just in case you have children in the vehicle. As we walk around the side, you're gonna notice that the cab and the bed are all made of uh, military grade aluminum. Very nice uh, uh, product that Ford has come out with there. It's a lot stronger. It's 10 times stronger than our, our previous steel. And along with that too, it's a lot lighter. So it gives you better fuel economy. As we come along the back, you're gonna see the caps up on top. They're skid resistant caps. Also too, so like if you're throwing something in a toolbox or something across the top and you hit it, you're gonna maybe put a mark in it, but these are replaceable and you don't cause any bed or damage to the truck itself. Large tail lights on the back for rear visual, so if someone's coming behind you, they're gonna see you stopping and putting in tail lights or turn signals, whatever the case may be there. You'll notice in the back back here, there's a light back here for if you're backing up at nighttime to a trailer, you can see back here from your rear view camera on that 4.2 inch screen that I told you about earlier up in front. You'll notice back here that you do have sensors. These are sonar sensors. So what that does, if something's back behind you, it bounces off of whatever's behind you and sends a signal back to the truck telling it how far away you are. So the closer you get to something, the beep is gonna start beeping at about 10 feet and it beeps more consistent the closer you get. Once you get within one foot of it, it comes to a solid beep for you. That way you know you're on top of it. You can also see it in your rear view camera and it has markers in your rear view camera also telling you where you're at. Down here below, I told you this is a tough and rugged truck and can pull a lot, 10,700 pounds. This is a class four hitch for you. And also too, you're set up and geared up for a four pin wiring harness and also to a seven pin wiring harness. The seven pin wiring harness is for uh, uh, trailers that have like electric brakes and things of that nature for you. As we open up the rear tailgate here for you, You'll notice a sprayed in tough bed liner in here for you. Great uh, usage, it's skid resistant, so if you're back here working and it's wet outside, you don't have to worry about it, but it also prevents your bed from getting all scratched up, dinged up, and things of that nature. You'll have tow hooks back here available for you, so you uh, can tie things down if you need to. As we walk around here, you're gonna notice this vehicle has FX4 on the side of it. What that means for you is it has skid, it has skid plates underneath the vehicle uh, that would cover your uh, fuel tank, transmission, and your motor. Uh, and for example, right, right here, if you look, there's one right underneath this gas, uh, gas can right now, or gas tank right now. Along with that too, as we look underneath here, you're gonna see underneath here, long leaf springs. We're the longest in the industry. The reason that we do that is it gives you more payload. Like in the back of this truck, you can uh, haul 2,050 pounds in the back of, the, or back of this uh, truck right now. Also too, it gives you more capability of towing. One thing Ford has done is they brought their, their shocks on the exterior part of the frame uh, to give it a more of a stance so you can have more of a payload and also to pull more. Prime example, if you put your feet together and someone tries to push you over, pretty easy to push over. But if I spread my feet apart and someone tries to push me over, it's a lot harder to do, okay? So also too, if you look underneath here, you're gonna notice that this frame underneath here is fully boxed frame. And along with that too, it is a hydrodip frame. So what it means is they've, they've electronically charged the frame when they dip it into the coating and it allows that coating to adhere and stick to the frame better. That's gonna give you longer life on the frame, less rust on the frame, and more durability over the whole life of the, of the time you have the vehicle. Some great features that Ford has really come out with that's really handy is the Easy Fuel. What that is for you is there's no gas cap. If you ever had to fumble and play and, and 
fight that string that's on the gas cap. We no longer have to do that. Put your fuel pump in, fill, pull it out, put it on the pump, shut the door, you're done. You never have to worry about anybody siphoning gas or stealing gas from you because 18 inches down, there's a little ball in there that prevents that from ever happening. As we open up this back, I just want to kind of point out to a couple of different things. Ford is really, uh, you know, I told you they're tough and rugged, uh, how, they, how, how tough and rugged these trucks are. One thing Ford has really done is they've come along and made these door handles and openings and window controls and all the controls up front a lot bigger and easier to use. The reason being is because a lot of the people that are using these trucks have work gloves on, things of that nature. You can easily open this door with a work glove. You can easily pull this up with a work glove on. These trucks are made to work. Can I show you up here in the front? This is the, the keyless entry. This is a Ford exclusive product. Uh, what this does for you is allows you to leave your keys inside the vehicle and then also to uh, you can come up, punch in, punch in your five digit code, unlock your vehicle and get in, or you can lock your vehicle and just leave it from here. Just push eight, nine down and locks the vehicle for you as you leave, okay? As I'm gonna open this up, if you wanna go ahead and have a seat inside, and we'll kind of go through the rest here. Kind of point out for you, like I showed you earlier, the uh, window lock areas are all wide open, easy to use. You can use it with work gloves on if you want. The door handles are really big and open. Get in it with work gloves on if you need to. But also too, down here and below, you'll see that there's a function where sometimes these trucks aren't driven by, you know, big manly men, things like that. Sometimes these trucks are driven by women, all different size of people. You can adjust the pedals forward and backwards, three inches, so it allows you to push the, the gas uh, pedal and the brake pedal away from the steering column so you can sit back further away from it. Also too, the tilt steering goes up, down, forward towards you and inwards for your adjustment to where it make you comfortable at. This vehicle does have the power seat available on it. Uh, forwards, backwards, up and down. Also too, it has the uh, lumbar for you in the middle part of your back to give you support on those long drives. One thing I really like about the Ford is the uh, three inch screen that's right up in here. It has all your controls right here on, on the uh, steering column for you. So you can control it all there. It'll tell you your fuel economy, your trip. Uh, it actually has two trips to it right now that'll tell you uh, all the information that you need. It'll actually do a system check for you, make sure your battery's okay, make sure all the systems are functioning correctly. Also too, along with that too, you'll see over here, you have your volume control for your stereo and also to your selection for seek forward and backwards on uh, for like radio stations, different things of that nature. This vehicle is equipped with XM radio and this vehicle is also equipped with Ford Pass. Ford Pass is a great function for you. Uh, what Ford Pass does for you is first of all, it doesn't cost a penny. It is zero free of charge. Unlike uh, you go out to the Chevrolet product and look around on OnStar, it's gonna be you know, 20, 30, $40 a month for all the features. This here is zero. And along with that too, it gives you all the same functionalities as the OnStar. You can unlock your vehicle from uh, your phone. You can unlock your vehicle from your phone. You can start your vehicle from your phone. You can see how many uh, miles are on your vehicle. You can see when the next service interval is. There's lots of functions that are available on this Ford Pass that's available for you. You look up here on top. This does have the downhill descent. Essentially what that is for you is a cruise control. Uh, so if you're going down a hill and you're worried about going down the hill too fast, you can push this button and the vehicle will do its own work. It'll set it, it slow itself down and put it in the uh, position where it's in control. Then also too, you'll have your traction control off over here. What that does allows for you to, uh, if you need to have the wheels spin to get you out of a, a, a stuck situation, or if you need the wheels to spin to get out of a slick, snowy situation, you turn that off and allows you to get more uh, wheel spinach to get going. You'll notice your hazards up here, and then also too, you're, uh, you're off uh, for the automatic uh, start. What that does for you is if you pull up to a stoplight and your vehicle is completely at rest and you have your, your, brake, uh, your foot on the brake, it turns off the vehicle and, and it saves fuel for you. Now, if you don't want that to happen, you can just push this button right up here, and then your vehicle will continue to run the rest of the time. 
You have your heating and air conditioning down below, which is a climate control system. So it's just like in your house. If you set it at 70 degrees, it's going to heat it up or cool it down to keep it at that 70 degrees. One great thing about the Ford system is the four wheel drive. You do not have to uh, be running less than 55 miles an hour or be running less than 35 miles an hour to flip into the four wheel drive high. This is truly a uh, four wheel drive on the fly system. As soon as you turn the button running up to 85 miles an hour, you're gonna engage your four wheel drive and you don't have to worry about it. All four wheels will lock in, you're off and rolling. Now with the four wheel drive low system, you will have to have the vehicle in neutral before you can flip it over to the four wheel drive system, or the, low, the four wheel drive low system. To engage the rear locking differential on this vehicle, you just pull out on this knob here and that's gonna lock the rear differential.